Right, while we're aboard the um, truck, uh, let's do a quick video. Someone wanted to know more about driving a seven and a half tonner. So um, let's start with controls. Um, in terms of the dashboard, um, we've got an ad blue, but I don't think the ad blue system's working. Um, the only other gauge you won't recognize from a car is the air pressure um, because it's air brakes. Um, you can also see that in the handbrake, which is a little lever like so. Uh, no, look at the rev counter and look at the enormous power band which goes all the way from about 1200 revs to just over 2000. That means the challenge is to try and keep it where it needs to be. And uh, talking of challenges, here is the gear lever and um, let's see, that's first down there, all the way back up for second, down for third, back up for fourth and then fifth is practically on the floor it feels like very strange gear lever he's taking some getting used to but look at the mod cons uh, i think that's for extra engine braking i don't believe that's working on this truck many things are not working the rear lights in the back not working um, cruise control we've got um, wipers which don't work on the intermittent setting there's the light switch heater controls you'll see from my vantage point the heater controls are almost invisible and the stereo takes a bit of getting your hand on as well not ideal. We've got electric windows and electric heated mirrors, which don't work. Um, but right, let's go for a drive. Um, there we go. Look, I'm one of those annoying trucker twats. I'm very, very slowly overtaking. But look, we're definitely gaining. We're definitely gaining. Oh, this is ridiculous. Our speed limits is really a good idea. Hmm. I don't think that's meant to come off. We did. Yeah, foot flat to the floor in fourth gear going up this hill. Um, it's hard going. All the trucks I've managed to overtake are now going to come flying past me. Grr. Okay, maybe not flying past. This boy has got more grunt than me. Flashing to say you're clear. All part of the trucker's code. So yeah, this truck isn't the best. The gear change is interesting. Um, the brakes are interesting. The um, radio, I keep losing the signal, the um, speaker on my side, um, bits come off when you try adjusting the seat, when you lower the window it comes off the runners and you can't get it back up again, uh, that's a quality vehicle, and uh, I've managed to get it to read in miles now, so I know it's doing, done 172,000 miles, feels um, considerably more knackered than my Lexus does. So the unladen weight of this truck, according to some tipex on this sun visor, is 4,640 kilograms, which leaves just under three tons of payload. But by oh yeah, I wouldn't fancy driving this with another three tons in it. You think it's annoying getting stuck behind a truck that appears to be doing barely any speed faster than the one it's overtaking? Much how frustrating it is to drive them. In terms of spec of this truck, um, I have no idea, it's a DAF of some sort, um, a little one. Um, I know it has a Cummins engine, which um, by the sound of it is a four banger, and uh, it has a turbo which produces one bar of pressure and no more, according to the display. Uh, which is a shame, I'd like to turn that up a bit. The biggest annoyance as a truck driver when you're on the motorway is cars doing the same speed as you. Because trucks have a limiter and generally they're all running on the limit, perhaps not going up hills, um, but otherwise they're going as fast as they can go. And there's nothing more annoying than a car, which can go faster, speeding up as you're trying to overtake it. And there's nothing as a truck driver you can do other than flash your lights and pull back in again and try not to get too angry. So, I mean, generally on a motorway, even when I'm in the 2CV, I try to avoid doing the same speed as the trucks. If you speed it up a bit to 60 miles an hour, you're going faster than all the trucks can actually go, because they're all limited to 56-ish. 
So um, you, you tend to stay out of their way. So that always tends to be my aim. I don't know why people drive so slowly on the motorway. I guess you're saving fuel, but no, I, I think 60 is my new favorite pace on the motorway. I try and do it in the Lexus and it can do over 30 to the gallon. And that's amazing. In terms of economy, um, I don't know um, how many miles this is doing to the tank. I didn't really work out how to reset the trip, but it's on a menu. Don't like menus. But I, I reckon, according to the computer, because it does give you a live readout, I reckon I was probably doing 20 mpg on the way down to Sussex. Um, certainly used less fuel than I was expecting. But yesterday we had a headwind. and. Um, that hit me hard. Um, the readout was quite often saying 12 or 13 mpg, uh, which is why I've used considerably more fuel to get back from Sussex than I did to get to Sussex. It's a 100 litre tank, um, so filling it can make you cry. Now, here we go, I'm approaching a sharp junction. I can't look over my shoulder, it won't work. So I'm going to have to rely on these excellent mirrors. Full selection of mirrors over there. So there is a blind spot mirror designed specifically for checking that exact blind spot. Uh, I've also got a mirror just above the top of the door, which is your cyclist check. Because as a cyclist, if you come up the inside of a truck, it's very difficult for him to see you. So that's to make sure there's no one by that wheel. Basically, you can see trucks very easily because they're huge, but truck drivers may be struggling to see you, and that's a mindset worth bearing in mind. If you're on a motorway, try not to sit next to a truck, especially a foreign truck, because you might well be sitting right in the blind spot and he won't know you're there. But anyway, that's just a brief insight into the world of being a truck driver. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one, and... Um, Please subscribe and see many more videos on many more motoring topics. Hopefully we'll get some work done on those Inver cars. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I shall see you again in a future video. Farewell. I like trucking, I like trucking, I like trucking and I like to truck.